Welcome to Throttle Roots That's Podcast up. with hosts Ray Resto Glide and co host Joe Black Sheep Dyna 33. Viewer discretion advised. Please get parent consent before viewing. Cheers, homeboy. Cheers. Thirsty Thursday, dog. Welcome back, man. Another another week, another podcast in the books that we're about to kick down, you know. It's good to stay, like I said, on this uh, consistency. <laughs> Hold on. We got to get, you know, my kids oh. were over here. You got yourself now? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's yeah. why I was picking Bring that up thing the up. volume over there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. My kids were playing with this thing a little bit earlier, man. Uh, you know, this podcast brought to you by this this episode <laughs> sponsored by homies, Law Tigers, man. 22 years in the game, man. And uh, all over the place right now in Southern California, man. Yeah, Hitting yeah. Every, hit a lot of different events, seeing them everywhere that we go. Um, so riders for riders, they understand, they get it. They know what you need when you need it. So we don't always need it, but when we do, boy, I'm telling you, you want somebody yeah. that's working on your side, man. So yeah, give them a holler, give them a holler, call, call, uh, us. call us, get message us, whatever. If you got our direct line, call us, whatever it may be, we'll get you squared up with, uh, in, in the right direction and shit, man. So, um, we're busy this weekend, dog. Yeah, we are. We're fucking busy this week. Well, actually, we're we can't busy for the next six weeks i think we just actually this week we kicked off our oh, let me kick off that beer real quick man uh i think this week we actually just kicked off uh our our kind of tour i don't know what are we fucking calling it we fucking all i know is i think when we looked at the fucking calendar we had about eight weeks eight weekends and like seven of them were an event or they were something that we were either dope like saturday sunday or or fucking one day we were we were busy yeah so we've just hit into the hump season um show season's yeah. kicking off it's and just, shit man just right yeah now. this weekend we're going to be over at orange county on saturday and then on sunday we're going to be over there at molehole and harley for their oh. good ride yeah. uh so we're going to be doing the music emceeing probably a little slow race and just have a little fun out there you know doing what we do um, so that's going to be this Saturday and Sunday. And then the following, we're going to be over at local. I'm excited for that one, too, by the way, dog. I'm pretty pumped on that one. Red Engine Brewing. Backyard. Backyard, in our backyard, um, man. Good center point between, yep. you know, Santa Clarita, L.A., San Fernando Valley, Moore Park, Simi Valley, Ventura, Santa Maria. It's local Ventura. event, man. I'm glad for it, man. Pretty, I'm excited for it. Point. Yeah. So um, I think a lot of people that I've, I've, I've heard a lot of I've heard a little good buzz kind of going about it, you know, locally and stuff. So I'm glad to be yeah. a part of that one. And then right after that, shit, man, we off to we off to uh, the desert. Yeah, we're off to the desert, man. Yeah, April second. So second, we'll be heading out there Tuesday morning. Yep, Tuesday morning we'll be over at uh, Harley uh, Scottsdale of Harley yep. or Harley of Scottsdale. Idiot. <laughs> we'll be over at uh, Harley of Scottsdale for uh, five days over there: Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, Botto from Chopper Kings is doing something over there on Friday. And yeah. then uh, Shifter Crew is doing their thing over there on Saturday. Yes. Uh, I know there's another. Did you uh, see those trophies, by the way? I did. They look pretty badass, they're man. Pretty they look trophies. pretty dope. They're, I think I like how they're kind of keeping it. I think they were similar feel what they were last year, like in terms of what they kind of. I like that. You yeah. kind of keep a tradition, you know, yeah. with them and shit, man. Uh -huh. So I'm excited for yeah. it, though, man. Going to be a lot of work for us that week, but excited as fuck to go and to go and get to a bike night, dog. Whew. Bike night was banging this week. Um shit i can't wait till next month man <laughs> um shit thank you everybody man, fuck for showing yes, up. man. thank you long time <laughs> thank you uh 805 bell bonds you know fuck uh, yeah shit, man he threw in 50 bucks dude to the slow race winner yeah um on man, the spot we, we had 16 fucking contestants <laughs> for the goddamn finish, cheers bro. to that whole boy dude, you know why i'm gonna that shit was fucking dog wild, bro i mean fucking dude we went from like cheers four, to that shit from like four what i tell you we got that chart out there now though um, that's why i was cheered you know why i was cheered because i remember and I'll, I'll tell the story i'm all right to say it i remember you said hey man i want to get a bracket thing i'm all that's a good idea and then i think you found it on amazon you found whatever you needed to find on on uh -huh. and you said this is the one i want i said all right and, and i remember thinking fuck that's a big one man we're never gonna but all right i guess that's you know get what you get and fucking eat my words like a motherfucker man the second time we use that thing at a bike night we filled that bracket up. We filled it up with 16 heads for a Tuesday night and bike I night. I kicked you off. And you kicked me off. Thank that is yeah. that is absolutely correct. And, and I, I didn't even off. I didn't even realize it until we got all the way down at the bottom <laughs> of the list. I'm all wait a minute. I was supposed to fucking what happened? And then I realized th my name was here. 
<laughs> and, I re- and then I did the math and figured out my name ain't there. We no replaced more. you with a killer, though. Yeah, who did I get kicked out for? Which I don't. Was, oh gosh, okay, fuck, man. Yeah, we, I mean, we kicked you out. For well, did killer. you guys do the homies a solid, or did you guys did you fuck them up with that one? Because that was a that, that homeboy can race, dog. Oh, when yeah. it comes to the slow race, they would have a better chance with me. Fucking being in there oh, is what man. I'm saying, man. Hey, he gets he gets down with it, dog. I mean, he, that was his first one out there, you know what I mean? He, he's a busy guy, so I get it, I, man. Everyone will get an opportunity out there. Yeah. Um, the whole one up crew fucking joined in. That was dope. I mean, that was dope. Most of the time, it's me and Chode, you know. And this time, it was Jimmy, Ricky. I mean, Johnny. A little bit of everybody. Everybody Castle, got Castle out there, cool man. So it, it was fun, man. It People signed it. their friends up. They're we like, had the girls out there. Yeah, we had a Hosanna couple. Hosanna and Sam. That's there. right. That's right. Fucking Hosanna gave, uh, I think, Mikey. Or no, she had to go against, I think, Prodigy. I don't know. Whoever she went against, she yeah. gave the next person also a little yeah. bit of a. Mikey killed it. Mikey Glizzy did good. Was that was, there. yeah. Yeah, Street Glizzy was yep. out there. They uh, enjoyed it, man. They were like, fuck, I got to do this shit again. That was their first time? Yeah. Yeah. You just, I, I get it. There's, there's. I'm I'm sure for them too, there was probably that little bit of like adrenaline rush too, because you kind of get that that butterfly in your fucking stomach feeling right when before, you got right before it's going. Oh yeah, you got people looking at you. You're like, don't drop my bike, don't fuck. Yep. You know, I so I get it, man. There's that adrenaline fucking rush even when you're done, man. Yeah. It was, it was dope though yeah that was a uh, great fucking time man. kudos to you dog you should have said see ray i should have <laughs> got the bracket that said 32 motherfucker <laughs> i did i do have it yeah and joe actually the got the ones are inside man. joe got the expansion pack so basically yeah. it's like a bracket of 16 yeah. but then it has other ones that are 16 and 16 and so you can make like a whole damn like march madness damn yeah. bracket yeah, we're, watch, we're, we're gonna do it man we're, we're, we're <laughs> We've been talking about a big event, um, a good spot for it, you know, with some good. We've been trying to work that out. Yeah. I had an idea. Let me say it before I forget, because I had an idea I wanted to share with you on the slow race. And I know that we probably wouldn't, maybe not everybody could make it, but I thought maybe towards the end of the year, we see if we can do like a TOC. We bring all the ones that will fucking won like throughout the year. We we try and we try and invite all the ones that won a trophy throughout the month because we give a, we give a plaque away every month. And then we, that's the, we could do still one that day, but we do a TOC yeah, tournament of I champions like of all fucking months for the year 2024. And we crown in a winner. Yeah. I thought, I think that's, I think we might be able to fuck with something like that, yeah. man. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah. We'll go bigger on that fucking plan. Yeah. We'll, we'll, oh yeah. We'll do something like a little bit extra for we'll that one for sure. We'll Shit. 805 bail bonds going to be throwing in fucking $200. Who knows? Man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking mad. You ain't, I'm just messing, man. You ain't got to throw nothing in, man. That was, no, that was dope. That was dope, man. He just walked up to the table. He goes, Hey, you know what, man? Here, I like it. I'm running with it. $50. He dropped 50 bucks cash on the table and said winner takes home 50 bucks cash in addition yeah. to the plaque that we have addition to a little bit of fun little the addition to a little bit of bragging rights you know that was dope uh that Thanks was that was dope custom for the plaques too for sure man to i mean it's dope we get the same plaque every month but it changes the uh the month for sure it. so that way your crown for that month it's it's a cool for event. sure man so it was a good event man it was uh it was uh another successful bike night yeah i know joe and i are always like are people gonna show are people gonna show but i you know not in a boastful way in a humble way i think uh us and the one up crew have now kind of orchestrated like hey this is this is a cool ass this is a good night to be right here for bikes for entertainment for yeah. music for just a good time we, I think I think bike night for us has established that reputation. What we say yeah. in nobody bike night like we bike night. Like yeah. <laughs> that's our that's our shit, man. Is that better? Oh, you got you. Oh, somebody. Oh, his mic is quiet. I got you. Oh, oh, you were up there. I got you. So, um, but yeah, man, good fucking time, man. I'm glad and I'm stoked that. Um, I mean, come on out, man. Grab your burnout. Yeah. There's even we get some burnouts and last this last one we had a couple donuts going on and some you know rolling burnouts and just a little fun man it's just it's that's good, all it is good fucking time, it's man. harmless it's like we're, nobody's out there getting rowdy nobody's out there getting crazy it's just a little steam yep. you know the i mean to be straight the cops it's have controlled always been, chaos yeah the cops have never like they've always been cool they know that we're just like we're there for a couple of hours we're doing our thing everyone's contained everyone's just having a good time and then we're all out we're all home like yep. nobody it's come out for yeah. sure and I want to remind people, bike or no bike, right? Because I always get asked, like, well, can I bring my Honda or can I bring my classic? You can fucking, we can walk your ass down there. Just park it at the next door, Carnitas El Rey. We got the bike parking up front. You'll see. It is a bike night, but yeah, bring your cars down and 
bring Hook whatever, man. Door. Bring whatever, man. It's it's called bike night, but it's just to gather and have a uh, a good ass time and shit, man. Yeah. So, um, well, with all that bullshit behind us, man, I know there's people tuning in, waiting to hear, hearing what we wanted to talk about tonight, and we teased it. You know, we put it out there a little bit, and I think it's fair to say I, I'm 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 um. I'm confident going out on a limb on this and saying that we are a podcast that doesn't really stray or worry about straying away from sensitive or hot topics or debates or the conversation, buzz. the buzz, whatever it may be. Yeah. You know, I know that there's a bit of a taboo that sometimes comes along with that when you're, you know, in the motorcycle thing, like, oh, don't say this or don't, you know, but we're a podcast. We are a yeah. podcast for, a Harley motorcycle community industry scene, um, whatever the fuck adjective you want to dub that shit. That's what we are. We are a podcast media platform for that. All things related that fall underneath that umbrella. We've had a little bit of every kind of guest you can imagine on, Mm. on this podcast. Everything, you know, Everything. everything i mean from people that don't even ride to red engine brewing and you know what i mean things like that just people coming up on a business and friends or whatever you know trying to support them or 100 percent maybe yeah but you know overall we we talk about this industry we talk about this 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 scene the things that happen amongst it and shit you know and i think you know we not i think i know we went out there and we talked about the the whole you know underage you know all this crap you know pedof- you know pedophile stuff we we went out there and spoke about that shit man yeah. we we weren't we didn't back away from it we didn't shy away from it uh-huh. and i think during that time we also made sure that we were clear in where our stance was in terms of that and we and and you know i'm gonna say in the like this at the time thankful and appreciative for somebody that was like hey you guys need to know this about this person that's inside of this community, this scene, this industry, this heart, that there's a person that is, that has done this within, within. And that, that is valid information for us, right? We, we fucking, cause we don't stand for that type of shit. Right. Correct. So when it came to light and it was out there, then yeah, absolutely. We want to do our part, our due diligence and making sure that, Hey, we don't, one, we don't stand for this, Yeah. but as a media platform and shit as well, it's also, it's also our responsibility, not the uh, responsibility is a heavy word, but it's also our, it's a thing for us to get, to get the message out there, right? People, people kind of are, uh, I wouldn't say tuned to us, but they know that they can hear maybe about shit here being it's a media fucking platform, yeah. you know? And so that's what we did with that message, you know? And, and for me, I still stand fucking right where I stood before one, I don't stand for it, but two, I'm glad that we went out there and we talked about it and we exposed it and we put it out there and for people to make the decision that they need to make. Of course we're telling, we're, we're expressing our opinion and we're saying, Hey, this is what we think because of our, our standards, our values, our morals are where, where we stand. This is what we think about this. Do what you fucking want. Yeah. But we're, we're, we're drawing a clear line in the sand going not for us. Right. And, and so that's what we did with that. And so, cause I was getting asked, man, I was getting asked from people like, so what, what what are you going to do? Are you going to just, no, we're going to, we want to talk about the things that everyone else is talking about. We're just brave enough, bold enough. We have the equipment. We have the capacity to talk about it where other people can join in and it can be put out there and talked about. Right. Yep. But we're just doing it out there in this platform now where we, where I felt this was an opportunity to talk about it. Cause it feels a little bit like a, well, it's a buzz. Exactly. Right. I think yeah. I think you hit the nail on the fucking head, man. And for those that have that are not aware or you're just loose listening to this because not everybody that listens to our podcast fucking is tuned in on the shit that's happening within Instagram and all that shit, man. We got people that listen to it all over. But essentially, this is some some uh, industry, Harley industry sort of uh, behind the scenes but happened to not now be so behind the scenes yeah. went public, you know, in, in multiple ways. Yeah. And now That's we, what I would say exactly. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think maybe it did. I, I would assume uh, this is an assumption for the record. I would assume, I would like to think also that, that this started out behind the scenes, wherever this whole thing brewed. It, all, it most definitely, it, it had I mean, to, right. I you mean, you could tell, I mean, just by 
yeah well, for sure i don't think most i don't think most people just all of a sudden wake up and go well i'm just gonna fucking have a problem with this guy this day at the flip of a switch so no that's what i'm saying exactly sure. yeah so some I, I i have to assume maybe something now again assumption I, I I can't dictate that. What I can what I can speak on is what I have seen and what a lot of us have seen online through social media, through through that sort of outlet that I can speak on because that's been public. It's been made for everyone to make their judgment essentially on the whole situation. Right. Yeah. And I think that's what we really wanted to talk a little bit about tonight is because. Just as much as we stood strong on that portion of it, of zero tolerance for anything that has to do with minors and underage and any of that, just as much as zero tolerance for that, well, we as lifestyle guys also carry ourselves to a degree of knuckle up or shut up, yeah, put up or shut up, pretty much. Yeah. Talk shit, get hit. You can go on and on with ever whatever fucking like, uh, uh you know, slogan or or slang or whatever it is that you want to you, you want to point. You get the point. That's what I'm saying. And that goes for us because of the way we, where we come from and our background and not, 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 I hate to say it where I'm painting ourselves. Like we're fucking like complete ex cons and criminals uh, and shit like that. that. It's just old school mentality and old school ways of freaking. That's exactly what it is, man. It's, it's, up it's just it, standing it, behind your fucking shit. Dude. If you have like, I was raised, I still do it to this day, man. And I, and there's some people that I've, I've, I guess I recently, I've, I got them on my mind. I'm not going to say who it is for, for the sake of not diving into my shit. But I know that recently there was some people that I had some heart ache with heart ache with. And it was a, for me, it's always a, Hey man, I'm always open to talk about this shit. Like I'll, I'll sit down and I'll have a conversation with you. Let me hear your ass out. Let me hear what you got to say. And then I can just dictate and decide from that point, oh, this was a fucking miscommunication or one person apologizes or fucking, hey, or whatever it is. I'm st like, first things first is- Or you go in the backyard and fucking one person walks out. That's it, right? <laughs> but that, but I, that's where, I think that's where I wanted to make sure that we're we're addressing the, the point of it is our old school values and our old school ways, I think we're a little bit like, I'm only 40. I'm not, I'm, well, I'm 41, going to be 42. I'm not that old, but I'm an old soul where that's exactly what you're describing is how I was brought up and raised and what I yeah. saw my dad handle with, even with his brothers and my own, you know, like they, Hey motherfucker, you got a problem, yeah. you know, blah, blah, blah. And sometimes they could just, Hey man, I just calm down. I, just, I was, you were, you're tripping, man. It was, or, Oh, my bad dog. I didn't mean to push it like that. I, that's how I saw things happen. And, or it went, well, fuck you dog. I, fuck you. Bam, 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 bam. Those are the two ways that as men, me growing up, that's how I saw men kind of handle scenarios. Yeah. Not all the time could it be hugged out, talked about, and had a like, oh, my bad dog, or I wasn't meant to be taken that way, or I got too heated. It did happen that way, and that's how I learned how to go, oh, I can have a conversation with a man still and work a dispute out because I, I saw that happen. Yeah. And then there's other times where I'm like, that motherfucker ain't listening. Like, th we, yeah. there's only one way to, to handle this shit. Mm -hmm. And that's the school that I think we're approaching this from and the mentality I think that we're kind of driving this conversation with is because that's the school that we come from, yeah. you know, fair to say. Of course. And I think that sets up the context and a lot of where we're landing with all this stuff, yeah. you know, and why we're talking about it and why it's like, a, hey, you talked about this. You talked about the, the, the sex offender. You talked about the underage shit. Well, make sure you talk about this, too. I'll be straight. Yeah. People were asking us, hey, are you going to spit about that shit? Yeah, yeah, 100%. You and I talked about it before even anybody hit us up. Hey, dog, we talked about that. Yeah. Why Why? What, why are we going to gun shy away from, from this over here? Correct. And that's why yeah. we're fucking here having yes, the conversation. We you, know, we, you and I, off the record, off the mic, you and I had that same conversation. Do we yeah. need to discuss it? Do we need? Yeah. We talked about it on side A. Well, Let's talk about it on side B too. What, what you know? That's who we are. That's what we do. That's what we, that's what throttled motherfucking roots is, right? And so that leads us to where the fuck we are at today with this shit, right? Uh, Dino, grown ass been in this industry won't even have a sit down with me. Send them my number because I hear they have an opinion blocked. <laughs> it, you know, and and conversation, man, that has been. And aside from what we're what we're spitting on tonight, 
conversation is a lost form of art. You look at like politics, look at Democrats and Republicans, look at fucking you, you look at like, uh, you know, LBGT and then this side and look at gun, gun, pro gun and anti gun. Yeah. Nobody can have a conversation anymore. Yeah. Everyone's always just like, well, my opinion is the only motherfucking opinion. Mm -hmm. And communication is a seems to be a lost form yeah. of art. And our know? opinion don't mean shit. And you can you can listen to us and tell you guys are fucking idiots. Uh, and that is one and, and or and or you can you can tell us that you have the right to tell us that and or you just turn this motherfucking channel off. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you just flip it off, you hit the unfollow button, and you think these guys are fucking morons. I don't like anything that they're talking about or their stance or their views. That's okay too. We, you know, that's the way that it is, man. But really, what it comes down to, I think, is conversation. And I think a lot of things can get resolved with conversation, but it takes two parties to fucking want to have to do that type of shit, of you know. So, um, what we're diving into and kind of what everything we're kind of contexting and alluding to is if you guys haven't been on the Instagram kind of train, the social media train. Um, there's been some dispute. There's been some back and forth. There's been some hostility, some some words thrown between uh, Hail Speed and Crucy Originals, you know. And again, I, I the assumption is that there was something behind the scenes that 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 was watered and blossomed and it made it to the big screen. Right. Yeah. And I think the kickoff for me now, Joe, you fill in where I think I may be misled because I truthfully I don't know all the pre that led up other than just some shit talking that was happening on from what I see hail speed side talking about, you know, Crucy's work. I saw some shit like that floating around, you know, mm -hmm. a tra talking trash about his 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 work or I heard this thing. I, I'm not a wheelie person. I'm, I don't get this deep into the into the weeds of, of, of who said what shit talking. But I heard Shinko's and wheelies and this. So there was like. The pot was brewing. You know, I, I heard all this others from one camp right here. Right. And I and I saw what I deemed as stones being thrown. And when someone throws a stone, I'm a I'm a um, I'm I'm that person. You remember you, you may or may not have remember listening or along with the uh, dis, not the dispute, but do you remember or Jace from the fast life. Yeah. I had I had I threw stones at him as well, man. And we fucking, you know, I had things. So I have the same similar kind of um, background where I was like casting stones, talking about somebody without a whole lot of backbone to even really other than just like, I don't like that motherfucker. Other than that, I've I've been in those fucking shoes. I've been that guy. I've done yeah. that fucking thing. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, I'm sure yeah. you know about my well, past. You guys talked it out. And. To, and, and all differences aside to my point i think too exactly is that's how i that's exactly how i learned and got and grew and grew up is we did talk it out we actually sat right here in this fucking garage he hit me up as he was making some type of tour he was making his rounds and doing his thing he was like on a, on a mission and he hit me up he said you want to do it i said i'm down i respect the fuck out of anybody that is willing even after the shit that i've said the shit that you think whatever anything that's still willing to go i want to fuck you want to have a conversation i'm still always i'm like fuck yeah i respect the fuck out of that type of shit yeah. so i think it's fair to say that in this case if it, it feels like to me that on that end of it stones were being thrown that was the that felt like hey the the moment of like this, the fucking the poke yeah. the, the poke in the bear, I guess you want to call from it. What I yeah, from what I saw it from is Cruzy obviously does YouTube videos and things like that. And he was on you on a YouTube video mentioned something about Shinko's, um, something like that. And then that's when you heard the IG go out. That so that's the reference then. Yeah. So Cruzy said something about Shinko's like because uh, I know what it, Michael it said. Much if you could wheelie, if you wheelie with a Shinko. It's not a real wheelie type real shit. Wheelie. Okay. Cause I, that, that is what I interpreted from hail speed when he said, you know, if you do it with a Shinko, it doesn't count type shit, which, but, which I, I agree, but disagree. Like if you're just doing a quick fucking wheelie with a Shinko and you're just fucking bringing it up real quick, you're probably getting it because of the Shinko and you're fucking just bringing it up and down. But I, I figure if you're riding the wheelie out, you're, you obviously have some skill, you know what I mean? Doesn't some, matter what fucking wheel you are. <laughs> some people are just buying Shinkos because they're cheaper. You know what I mean? Well, I straight up, 
That's the way I, I could see that. That that's that's my <laughs> point of view. I mean, some people may think different. Like I said, my point doesn't mean shit, but that's just what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? That that's how I feel about that. I couldn't even wheelie with a fucking Shinko Joe. You give it up <laughs> in the parking lot, bro. Go, rah, yeah, I give a little rah, fucking rah. let go of the clutch and fucking like pop the they fucking keep clutch. The mic is quiet. That oh, do they? Here, I got you. I got you. Hold on, we'll just turn you up a little bit like this. I got you. Here. Is that better? That's gonna be better. Is that better? Is that better? That's probably better. I know it's better actually because I brought you up in the the level. Is that better? I'm sure that's better. Uh, is that better? <laughs> that was probably <laughs> that was weak. Man, that was like a, a four one four one, yeah, and I'm giving you I'm giving you a little fucking credit right there. That wasn't a whole fucking lot right there, man. That wasn't All a right, lot. Back to the back to the story. So, so um, that that's where I saw it starting. Um, and then um, that's kind of the culmination. That's the that, seed. That's kind it's of like the, the seed, yeah. right? Right. And, and I'm sure there's something behind that as well. I'm, I'm from what the from other videos that I've saw, which you'll show. Um, yeah, we've got there, two videos, and there's it's it's the ones everyone's there's, seen. There's obviously other background to it as well. I'm sure that there is, but when it finally bubbled to the surface, when it finally got to the level of public, which is social media and making its rounds. Those are the videos that I definitely was sent to. I or I wasn't sent to. I was I was sent them. Yeah, a bunch of times, man. Everyone, did you see this? Did you see this? Did you see this? And those were the you can talk about this. You can talk about this. Yeah, I'm not. And I and we're not talking about it because motherfuckers asked us if we were, but we're talking about it because we fucking want to, and yeah, that's just the way that it fucking goes. But that's where it stemmed, man. And I think if correct me if I'm wrong. It seemed like um, from the time that I saw that type of stuff from from Camp Hail Speed, if we want that's what we want to dub it. If 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 we, if if uh, when I saw that from the time I saw like a response, like a real like response slash call out, it was a while. I it was a couple of weeks, a week or two, three weeks. I don't know. It felt like a while yeah, until Crucy like publicly went and addressed and said, "I'm tired." Because a man does get to a point where you push buttons for only so long, and then you go, come on, man, I got to fucking say something. The guy at the bar fucking who keeps bumping you four or five times, you give him a little shoulder look once or twice, and like, hey, man, and, you know, he does it again, and you fucking give him a little nudge, and then he does it again, and then you're like, hey, motherfucker. At one point, yeah, a man fucking can only take so damn much, and you're going to you're gonna fucking say something. That's the nature of being, being a fucking man, you know? Yeah. So... I yes. think what we're going to do is we're going to start off because I think that gets us essentially to the point or to the, to the point of where I can bring this Crucy video in, because that was really the response. I think that leads yeah. us up to the point of like, Hey, we're talk we got to why all this, this stuff has happened and why it all went public. And again, some of it is probably, well, one, I would say not true because we don't know all the facts and the reasons as to why it got to this point, but we know that it did. Right. And so, I think it's fair to say that um, I think we've got you kind of caught up with with where it's at. Now, we're just going to speak on these videos in terms of the facts that we know, you know, what's presented to us and what has been said from both camps. Mm -hmm. And then where we kind of lie, how on, on why that where where we lie with that, you know, just like we did with the fucking underage type of shit, you know. So I'm going to bring up the. uh the uh, Crucy one first, actually, because this was essentially kind of puts us where we're at right now. That puts us right to where we're at, I think. So I'm going to bring up the Crucy one, and I think we're going to watch it in full. We may stop it or so. I don't know. We'll kind of figure this out as we as we kind of fucking go. But let me go here, and then I am going to go ahead and share this screen. Let me make sure it's sharing. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to bring up the Crucy video. Let me make sure that the sound is up on this thing because I believe once it starts playing, it plays pretty dang quick. So it's this one right here, 3,000 something or other. It's got probably 64,000 views at the moment. Uh, so I would say that it's fair to say it's probably a pretty hot topic amongst people and shit, man. So here we go. Another one off the website because we were having problems with them. And then there's some punk bitch named Michael Hale out there. Finally. <laughs> who used to work for Elite See, and stole a bunch crazy. of stuff from Elite oh, because he's a thieving rat piece of shit. Pussy also watches the channel. 
And he started to go talk a bunch of shit about me, trying to make me look like a sellout. Like, I'll take any deal as long as I get 5% margins. Well, yeah, you gave me 5% margins after I reached out to be a dealer because we were taking one finger off of the shit already because we had so many problems with him. And <laughs> you're a fucking coward-ass pussy, Mike, Michelle, Michelle Hale. Don't show your face nowhere. Because everybody wants to kick your ass in the whole entire industry because you've burned everybody. You don't make any parts yourself. It's all made by your buddy down the street. You don't even have a shop. You don't make no ARP bolts because ARP is a brand. It's not a type of bolt. It's a brand that's patented. You like to run your mouth, but you don't want to show your face nowhere because you're a coward. You keep talking shit, so you must want to fight me. Let's make something happen. If anybody's out there watching that has any sanctioned bodies that can put a fight together for me and Michelle Hale from Hale Michelle Speed, if you can put something together for the two of us to put a fight together, I would really, really appreciate that because this coward ass won't show up. So please, someone help me out. Reach out. Put a fight together. I would love to put my hands on him real, real bad. It would be a great time for me. I would feel really good about it. I hate keyboard warriors. He is a cancer on this community. He is a cancer on the motorcycle world altogether. His negative garbage ass style of trying to build a company of shit talking all the companies out there that put the work and the time in. You know how he built this company? He buys parts from companies that have already put the work in and developed them. Then he copies them and then he repops them. And then he talks shit about that company and trying to make them sound inferior when he's the one stealing everything. The guy is an absolute scumbag. A total scumbag, and I've kept my mouth shut long enough because I don't really want to waste any energy on a fucking loser like him. But it's time. It's time that everybody knows. Michelle Hale is a bitch. Come at me, you fucking pussy. Anyways, so I've got the clutch out now. <laughs> that is a punk, dude. I hate pussies that want to run their mouth and act like they're hard, but then they won't show up or do shit about it. Just on the internet. I'm internet tough, brother. You're a punk, dude. Oh, Michelle. I know you're watching, you dick riding bitch. Oh, man. I want to fight Michael Hale. <laughs> so bad. Please, somebody set that up for me. I will go to him. I will go anywhere. It's got to be legit because he's a snitch. So I can't fight him on the street, but somebody set me up a legit fight. MMA rules, preferably, please. I would like to split him with an elbow. I mean, a lot to a lot a lot to fucking digest in that yeah. shit, man. I mean, there's a lot to digest in there. Um, First and foremost, you could obviously obviously see um, there is previous business oh, yeah. or something going on. It obviously has to do with a little bit of elite. Which I don't know. I, 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 I we shouldn't even. Some, yeah, I'm just saying. There's I, he mentions it, so you could kind of show the viewers and stuff. Oh, you, know? you mean with the one finger things? Yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. That's what I'm getting at. So yeah, I, I I I think it's obviously safe to say that this that those type of references, those things, you know, I guess show that there's there's some ha there's some history there's some background there's yes. some there's there's definitely some some shit talking there's some there's some tension there's Correct. some anger That's there's shit right. there's shit there not only with the with his approach like in terms of like i not his approach but his his demeanor towards it i mean he kind of it, the way i was watching this he kind of he kind of like stopped and said let me talk to this guy like he kind of like looked up at, the, at this thing and go let me let me talk to you, you know, like in a in and to me, when you body language shit like that, man, his yeah. body language felt like I'm dead serious about this. Like I, I'm I'm tired of the talking, yeah. I'm tired of the of the back and the forth. Correct. Like yep. if we're gonna like if, if we're not it, I guess it's got to a point where obviously maybe the talking isn't gonna resolve it's anything. Like you said it's being that guy in the bar that's been nudged once yes. too many times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get put. Yeah, exactly, dude. We've all and we and every fucking guy in here can relate to being pushed by some drunk guy or some motherfucker in the bar over and over and over. And yeah. you give him warnings and you kind of try and do it the the yeah. the cool way. And then at some point, you're fighting in the fucking parking lot because because of this douchebag. Yeah, don't smudge my pumas. That, <laughs> don't 
Don't step on the kicks, dog. Don't, Don't be stepping on the kicks, oh boy. It's the kicks, dog. But I, I think you can feel and you can kind of sense in his approach, in his delivery, that I, I'm angry. I'm upset. Yes. Like I'm, I, and and definitely I'm upset. But like, I think it's fair to say that's a call out. I mean that that's a call out. That was a call out. That was a call out. That was a fucking hey, off. That was a it, legit call out. That hey, was like a sanction. Fucking <laughs> MMA yeah. rules. I mean that's fucking. Legit. Well, like I think if you're, I mean to to protect yourself, Joe. You know, in those terms, you, you know, if you're gonna call somebody out like that, and I I'm. I'm from I'm I'm I got a side to me, right? I got a past side to me, but I also got a smart side to me now. And I'm a, and if I'm gonna do something like this, I want to make sure that I'm not I, I'm well, covered. Business. I've got more. Got I've got shit, more to work. Life for. and shit that you got to cover. Man. And I think like when you when you get to a level of maturity and you get to a certain level of of that, then there's things where it's like okay. I can't just act like I used to and be a fool and just go and sock this fool up without repercussions because if you do it that way, you got a lot to lose. Right. So men mature. Sometimes it takes us a whole lot longer to fucking get there, yeah. but we mature later. We realize, nah, that shit ain't worth it for me to go down to the big outs anymore, you know? Yeah. And it, so we mature in that way. Yeah. And I think in Crucy's sense, I think maybe that's not, I'm not speaking in terms like, Oh, the fucking guy's a mature guy. He knows, but he recognizes like, well, I can get I can get some shit for this, right? And so let me let me let me do it the you know let me do it the the, the right way yeah. so I don't get shit for this and I don't get fucking you know this take. So yeah. I the the approach the the call out in terms of of like hey man it was real it was a legitimate like I'm tired of the shit talking I'm tired of you like saying you this. He turned he spoke to the cat and was like hey I'm talking to you. He, he you know. I think that's fair and he said he said his name he like I mean it was a, real it's posted it's it's there for everyone to see. It's it, yeah. That. He this wasn't a this was a this wasn't a I'm addressing this shit right here right now with you fucking straight up and everybody can everybody can be made aware that this is my statement about this fucking shit right here. Yeah, that's a call out. That's a fucking everybody knows there ain't no disputing it. There's no you said and you heard it through the grapevine. There's there's a here's the we just watched it. We just fucking watched it. We all just heard it from the horse's mouth, right? Yeah. And that's what we're that's why we're talking about it. We're talking about it because we're hearing it from the perspective of well, we're not hearing from the perspective, we're hearing the reaction from all this the horse's shit. Mouth. Yeah, well, we're hearing the reaction from the horse's mouth. Exactly. You know. So I think at that point, man, it's a call out. It's a it's a hey man, like I'm tired of your shit talking, you know, and I'm gonna be real, dog. Like, homie, you you have, you know you have a uh, poked a bear quite a few times throughout your throughout his throughout michael and hail speed's time in this industry i've only known him as hail speed i never knew the guy before i didn't know he no. was involved in any other companies I, I and that's not a discredit to him let me make sure that i'm like making it clear it's like i just didn't know who he was i didn't know his involvement in it i just before uh, yeah. before correct until hail speed and joe was like hey dog check these parts out check this dude out and i was like fuck yeah i i fuck with this guy he's 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 raw you know that that can that can be good and it could be bad for you we know that right mm -hmm. but i'm like i dig the parts he's real with it He's he's he seems like he's about about it like about the lifestyle he's he's riding i see him fucking like that's what it appeared right yeah. and then at some point then it just becomes the that that's the oh man what are you talking what are you talking again for why are you talking shit again like there's a time and a place for it all and but it seems like it's the mo i yeah. think i feel like it's the mo with with it at this point it feels like it's the gotta gotta talk about this person and then on to the next one and on to the next one we're probably on the fucking chopping block. Don't give a fuck at this point, man. It's it's it is it kind of is what it is, right? But that's the mo. That's the that's the. I had the conversation with him because we had him on the podcast, and I've said it to other people as well during other podcasts, and just when they're talking about him. To me, I always just interpreted it as an aggressive marketing tactic. It works for some brands. It works for some things. It works for some industries. It works for certain things. Mm -hmm. And at first it felt like, oh, it's working for him. He's, you know, it's not my necessarily my style. I'll be real with it. I, I'm I'm all right being rough around the edges and being real about shit, but not to the point of all the time. That's just that it's, it's the um, reputation that I gain, you know, 
Yeah. But he started that that at first that, that's what it felt like. It's a, just an aggressive form of marketing. You got companies like Ride Faster Pussy. That's an aggressive, that's an aggressive name. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna appeal to to the masses. Yeah. Hail Speed and his marketing tactic and the way he advertises both his business and or discredits other business, however you want to view it, it's his marketing tactic. It's how he it's how he approaches his business. Works for some models, doesn't work for everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm not on the side. Of, I don't understand why bite the why bite the hand that feeds you. You know, if you're gonna get into this, why are you cutting off uh, any percentage yeah. of your customer base? You know, yeah. so we'll dive more into that shit right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually in fairness, right. There was a response to it. Right. I mean, we're not just going to play one side of it and we're not just going to go like, Hey, here's, here was the response to this shit. And this is what was said. Here's the response. Here's the call out. Good night. See you later. Cause there was a response to this video from the cruci video that we just showed from hail speed. And I think that's for me is where it kind of went like, Oh man, that's where I don't align with it. That the, in the response is where I'm like, I don't necessarily align with that point of view and how you know how, and how it was gone about. So I won't say any more. We'll talk about that a little bit more as we uh, we're gonna play this video here actually. And this is essentially the response from Hail Speed about the video we just showed from Crucy. Right. This is the response to that. So in fairness, uh, we'll do the same exact thing. And we'll add it. And start this one off right. This was user submitted yesterday. Check out my new cruise year. Right? Go ahead and start this one off right. This was user submitted yesterday. Check out my new cruise year originals, clutch lever. Hey Trent, get my jag rag. I rush through this. We only got a minute. Uh, that's about all the time that you're gonna get. Um, first off, I'm a thieving rat. Stole from Elite. Blah blah blah. This really looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, too bad it's got my name on it and was made three years prior to them even becoming a business. Um, I don't make ARP. ARP is a brand. So for once in your life, you got something fucking right. Uh, this is how you buy it as a dealer. Um, I do make my own parts. I haven't copied any of your shit because it's all garbage. I haven't copied anybody's shit, to be honest. Um, I am the only person that makes these. They're timing cover screws. Um, don't make ARP. I do mill them down though. Here's the patented kilo that you were talking about. Um, and if you're going to talk about being a rider, um, let's get your name on a fucking number plate with an AMA sticker on it. That one. You want that one? You want that one? You want that one? You want- Next and final video. Uh, yeah, this fight that you want to do. I have no interest in fighting you at all, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you'd probably fucking win the fight. I'd still talk shit with a black eye. Is what it is. Apparently, I'm a bitch for not wanting to go to fucking events. Here's the difference between you and me. I got into this industry to make money, not friends. So, let's spend $10,000 to go to an event, stand in the fucking sun all day, deal with dumbasses and fucking tire kickers, or spend 100 bucks, can go live my life at home, go out, do whatever the fuck I want, and that hundred dollars that I spent on Instagram generated three grand worth of revenue. There's a lot smarter ways to do this, bro. I think that was it. Yeah. yeah. I think that was it. Again, a lot to digest a lot to, you know, cause it, it was a response to a lot of things, but I think now that we're kind of going through this timeline of shit and we're talking about the, the feeling of there was assumption before this or there was something that we're we're assuming shit percolated before i feel like watching that and hearing the the um here's how you be a dealer here's how it you know here's that that was kind of the addressing all the reasons as to where this kind of stemmed from i feel like that's a that was a lot of what was behind the scenes and where this percolated from because a lot of it was my arp bolts elite one doing another company and, and and the list goes on of the things I felt like he was addressing, like I'm, I'm, I'm addressing these things. So I feel like that kind of just solidifies, I guess is the best term yeah. to say there was some shit. And that was probably all the shit that was behind the scenes that happened prior to this. The second part of it got into the, the fight portion of it and, and the, and the call out. And that's where I'm going to, you know, be real, keep it real. Like, like, 
Like I know how to keep out. And, and Joe, I want to make sure also, you know, I know we're throttled roots here, man, but I'm when I, what's coming out of my mouth tonight is my opinion based. I'm not speaking on behalf of Joe. <laughs> I want to make sure my fuckers understand that um, shit. Okay. Yeah, we are. But, it, but I mean, people, people sometimes will take what we, we say and mush it together. It before we went off. Yeah. So it's throttled roots. It's, it's, but you know, like it's our opinion. The second part of this was, was, was addressing the the call out the let's fucking fight let's uh, a sanction fight let's let's if someone can put this together you know the second part of of michael's video was that was and the first thing was i heard was i don't want to fight you i don't want to fight hearing the background the story the way it went down you called someone out you tr- it, talking about it like we were saying earlier talking about it you guys weren't able to talk about it you guys weren't able to figure it out behind the scenes you weren't able to figure it out publicly you weren't able to figure it out and have a conversation and sit down and, and talk over the phone and try and fucking sort the shit out and go my bad homie and or you know miscommunication you just were not able to sort it out or and that- fuck you or fuck you, but a fuck you solidifies the it's it's fucking on right yeah. green light or however you're gonna fucking right. deem it whatever right yeah but if at least you get the fuck you yeah at least you know where you fucking stand yeah. right you know at least you fucking know that yeah, right and I think that's the part no I don't think I know that that's the part where I go I'm not not in favor of that shit man so no. you 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 push the man. You 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 push the man to the point of fuck you, man. I want let's fucking fight. Let's yeah. get this shit over with. Like, let's stop talking and let's stop no, jabbing sure. and let's stop yeah. banging on this keyboard and let's stop all this shit and let's just fucking see. It, it this seems at that point, Crucy got to the point of yeah. it feels like we got to decide who's the bigger man and who's right over this method. And I don't even think it's that. I think it's just to the point of, dude, you're fucking barking and barking and barking and talking shit. Fucking what the fuck? Let's get them up, dude. Like, I'm like you said, it's just you're fucking done. You're done. You're over it, bro. You're just fucking you're throwing my name in the mud. Fucking yep. everything yeah. else. Yep. For what fucking reason? I'm not doing nothing about you or talking about mm-hmm. you. So it's let's get them up. I, at, Legit. At, and, at some point, that's a straight fucking poked the bear and fucking wanted to sweat and swat with him and then when he turned around and knuckle up you fucking ran yeah. there's well ran is you, you've you've said i don't want to fight you i don't you I, I think that's i think that i like, think ran away from the fight if like, we're gonna i mean no. he still hasn't i mean let's be real just because he said i don't want to fight you that's his stance we now know he doesn't want to fight him but it doesn't mean that he fucking can't just fucking okay. When I see this motherfucker, I'm gonna throw it down. Doesn't mean that he won't. No. But I mean, from a from a you guys have gone public with this shit. You guys went out there and and fucking that's Crucy I'm, said this. You yeah, said this. Everybody saw it. Everybody knows about it. Everybody now. Now it's time. At this point, I feel like it's got to the point of you gotta just knuckle up, man. You gotta knuckle up. You talked about it. You said it. You you you. You don't want to be dubbed the keyboard warrior, right? And and at some point, if you don't knuckle up and you're just talking, 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 well, what other title is there to carry if 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 you're not gonna like knuckle up and do what you're gonna do? You gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta address it. You gotta you gotta handle it. In all honesty, though, man, I'm a you know, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about, you know, this is a lifestyle for us, I was right? I was gonna say you just pretty much threw away half of your customers that you would see at a show by talking shit about them that 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 to me that that part of it for me on the on the on the business end of it on the the growing up in this shit on the the like the respect side that i have for this harley shit and this and this lifestyle and this and this shit on that level of it that's where i have a heart that that's the that's the hard pill i have swallowing in, in a lot of that right there man the fight, the manhood, you know, getting called out, you know, and then saying, no, 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 no. That's the, that's the man shit of it. That's the, that's the, Hey man, we got levels. We got, you know, certain standards that we, that we're supposed to be holding ourselves up to as men of this lifestyle. Yeah. That's that portion of it. The other portion of it tugs at my fucking, at my heartstrings a little bit where I'm like, damn dog, I look this shit right here. This life has given me so fucking much. And I know I'm going to sound like, the whole like 
la di da fucking like all of you know no, bro, on I, your happy trail and shit. I like going out and seeing all my homies. All but my that's what I'm saying, all man. The, all my other vendor friends fucking do good and all that shit. Man. Uh, it's, like, that's what it's about. That's a it's a life, man. Beyond Enjoy. that, I don't have homies like you without these motorcycles, without these Harleys, without right. us growing up in a similar fashion, without your old man teaching you the ways that my old man taught me and the lifestyle that I'm growing up fucking and I'm raising my young kids in like, this is what, this is the environment they're around. They're around bikers. They're around homies. They're around Joe. They're around roach. They're around, they're around the homies with bikes. They're, they're around this shit. Just like I fucking was they right. Were bike night on they were at bike night on my Tuesday. Kids come down to bike. Night. That's what I'm saying. Like, so from a, from a, from a, from a standpoint of this, what this lifestyle, and I know it's going to sound like kumbaya bullshit to you, and any you know sentimental sometimes i guess but but this shit right here dog the reason that this podcast exists and why any of this shit even drives me yeah is because of these because of this shit man i love it so fucking much it's my i gave up every other hobby i used to you know you know i used to play softball i used to do some other you know i used to i used to have other hobbies as well and then i went I fucking love my motorcycles and my people that I hang out with and wrenching on them and working with them and, and hanging out with them. I love that shit way too much to spend any more time playing softball and shit. Yeah. And so I, I gave it up. I gave it up in the terms because I wanted more time with this on the sentimental side of it, on the fucking being involved in it side of it, dog, that part of it hits me where I'm like, man, because you and I have said it when we're at events, we're a media platform. We talk about it right here on YouTube. We're out there on Instagram. We connect with people that way, right? People know us through that outlet. That's fucking great. I love that shit. We can reach people that we can never reach without it. That's what social media is really good for. Yeah. But it's fair, and it, you know it's true now, Joe, being that we're going to events on a regular basis you know, all the time. When we meet somebody at an event, that's when we get them as a as a as a lifelong like that's the that's when the yeah. fucking is like really like oh man i've seen you on i've seen your video i've seen you're this and then we meet them at an event and they're like damn you got what's up man good to see you then that's when it's like what's up homie i seen your face now i know you now i know you that is why going to events and going and Very seeing true. people is important because on a business end of it, you meet your customers. You meet your customers. You got to. You can't just fucking. You can. There's certain businesses that can just do e-commerce and be online and never fucking see a face. That's what eBay and Amazon exist for. That's what that shit exists for. But fucking people like us, our our type of people, fuck that. That's why we have bike night. That's why you're gonna see us at an event because we like to be amongst those fucking people. And we ain't getting rich, man. We fuck have, no. We have full time jobs. Fuck I mean, no. Don't get me wrong. We fund our business and things like that, but. It's not all about it's not all about the dollar. You know what I mean? It's about the dollar a little bit, but it's not all about that, man. It, it's about I mean, we're making money and funding like what we got, you know what I mean? Making our business better, mm -hmm. trailer and yep. things like that. Yep. You know what I mean? And it's better for us and our consumers as well. Yep. I, and I'd you know. like to to further on your point. That that is, you know, in addition to not going to the shows and all that shit, I'll be straight, man. If you're in it, I get it. If you're, if your business, you, you need to make money in your business. So I, I understand that portion of it. Of I, I, you know, you got to hustle, you, you got to hustle, of you course. got bills to pay, you got mortgages to pay. You got, especially if that's your own business, hundred percent. I'm, I'm all for the fucking grind. Get your fucking grind, get your yeah. grind, get your grind, get your paper, get your paper. I'll never knock Fuck anybody yeah. for getting paper yeah. in any way that they get it. No matter the capacity, big, small, different, it don't fucking matter to me. Correct. Get your paper. Yes. Okay. I it doesn't settle with me. Right. Real talk. It doesn't settle with me right when you hear, I just got in this for the money. There is, for, and I'm going to say it from my end of it, because I know I didn't dip my toe into any of this shit with money on the brain at all. It turned into money on the brain at some point, because I can't I can't sit there and and buy equipment and do this and, and all this other crap that it takes to run a business without making money. So it turned into a business at some point. But I didn't fucking step into this shit. I didn't put that phone on my on my fucking uh, on my trash can there when I first did my first Instagram live with the intent it of fun. it was for it was I fucking want to talk to the homies about motorcycles and I want other people to join me talking about motorcycles. Yeah. There was no intention or nothing of any of this shit. But later on, it worked out in that way where I'm like, I'm investing a lot of time into this. 
it does have to turn me a buck at some point. That's a hard transition to fucking make when you're doing something that you like and you really enjoy, but time is money. I get that. And so I've got to make a buck in order to keep this machine moving. And if it's your only fucking form of income, I get it. Hustle. Get that motherfucking money. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. But it's, it's a little bit, I'll be straight, a little bit of wind out of your sails when you hear a motorcycle company that's four motorcycles and the statement is, I just got in this for the money. And that and that's that that's the statement. That's those are the facts. That's what was said. As a as a person that's in this shit, yeah, I want you to make money. I want you to eat. I want you to be fed and I want you to feed. I want you to eat really good. But I don't want to feel like you just came in here to take my fucking money and not be a part and give back to what this industry and what this community and what this shit has given back to me for 30, 25, 30 fucking years. That's where I go. That don't sit right with me. Yeah. That that part of it don't sit right with me. Maybe it was said in the wrong terms. I always try and give benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was said out of context in those terms. Like, that's my goal. That's my hustle. That's what I need to do. I don't fucking know. But those were the words that were said. I didn't get in this shit to make friends. I got in it to make money. As a, as a fucking lifestyle guy, as a culture guy, as a guy that has a rich background in this shit, a, a lengthy fucking background in history, yeah. that shit... That shit don't sit right with me when I hear that type of shit. Yeah. That's me, you know. Every but I can agree with that. but but that don't mean don't go get your money. Yeah, go get your money. On the flip side of that, on the business end of it, I don't understand why you would cut off any part of your supply if you're trying to get into it to just make money. If you're in it just to make a dollar, I don't understand why you would cut off any source of income by creating a, a, a either a bad reputation or people just going i'm not doing business whatever the cause is i don't know i don't know why you would want to do that if your intent is just to make money yeah make money from every fucking person who gives a shit if that's your intent but you cut off a lot of your 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 source you at least cut off half of it there's other people to get stuff from yeah. Not, it's not the only option, you know, that's, that's the reality of it. We're not the only fucking podcast to listen to. No. There's billions of them out there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So from that aspect, it just comes from a, it, it hits me in those like, man, I don't understand. I, I having a hard time following a little bit of the logic from hail speed camp and going, man, are, if you want to make money, don't don't piss off anybody and take all their money and just keep quiet. Take their money, take their money, take their money, take their money. If that's your intent, if if you're going to talk about people to a point where it's like, fuck you, yeah. then you got to knuckle up. You got you got to knuckle up. You you know, you don't want you're going to call somebody out for a thing that we agree on minors, you know, shit like that. You're going to live up to that standard. You got to live up to that same fucking standard. You know, mm -hmm. and I think that's where this shit kind of lands, dude. I think, you know, for us, it was important for us to to talk about it, to make sure that we came across it real, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 this is I, I don't I, I don't feel like I bashed talk shit no. hurt. You know, I might have hurt some feelings along the way because you don't agree with my my opinion and my thought. That's all right. Yeah. But I wasn't here to fucking sit here and say this guy's right. This guy's wrong. No. This, I, we're, I'm, I'm giving it to my opinion where I stand, how I think, okay, you guys escalated to the point of got to fight. Yeah. The knuckle up. And nobody even has to know that we did go fucking behind the, 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 the shop yeah. knuckle up. And when one man comes out, <laughs> then, yeah. you know, and that's the fucking end of it. Yeah. Who's talking up there. Nobody. Oh, they're back. back <laughs> um, let's see who's in there. Actually. I see. I see the wifey, Megan. Um, I don't know what hundred K versus three K means. What does that mean? That's from Hail Speed, who's who's watching tonight, by the way. And you know, kudos to you, homeboy, for for hanging out and fucking tuning in and listening to this shit. Um, we have already seen you don't do versus. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. We're not gonna. <laughs> you guys do your thing amongst there in the fucking comments and shit, man. You know, we're not we're not here to 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 do all that shit, man, and, yeah. and dive into that. But I don't know, man. I don't know where this escalates. I don't know how this gets resolved. I don't know how this, I don't know what the, what the final resolution can be of this. Yeah. I would like to think that there is still a possibility of these two just being able to fucking talk and probably yell and cuss and scream and whatever they got to do at each other 
without that having to go down first. Yeah. I, I still like to think that that could happen, but who fucking knows, man? This is this is ultimately lies on them. Um, you know, yeah. that's all there. Yeah, that's their thing. That's their it's it's their thing to land on, man. But you know, just like we said, we don't stand for my, for anything to do with minors. We don't stand when somebody else come calls people out. You know, is poking at them, and then someone calls you out on it. They're calling you either on your bluff, or they're calling you out on your call out, or they're they're calling you out and saying, "All right, man, let's go." And then you you kind of just say, "No, no, no, no." If I got a problem with Joe, maybe someday him and I are going to have to throw down right here in the backyard. But a uh, good chance, I would say, we might we we would do that. But then we probably fucking, hey, dog, you good? You good? You know, we fucking probably hug that shit out. That's just the probably way. Have a beer uh, probably have a beer. <laughs> we'll probably put a cold one on my fucking black eye and a fucking drink. Are you good, man? I, well, we just had to get that out of our system. <laughs> That's how I fought with my homies in the past. You know, you just got to get have. that shit out of you sometimes, man. Yeah. You, someone just got to come out and go, hey, and tr- I fought with my homies, too. And I've been on the side of ass whoopings from my homies. And then I've also been on the side of whooping my homies ass. And then when I whoop my homies ass, I'm damn, dog. My bad, man. I fucking want to bust you. I didn't think that fuck you're gonna have a mean old black. I, you know, I feel like afterwards I'm like, but we're but we're straight. We knocked yep. that shit out, we got it out the way. We we said what we need to say and we did what we needed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, man. Well, crazy sales doubled. Good for you, man. I'm 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 glad to I'm glad to hear that, man. If you listen, and like I said, if your shit if your marketing tactic is to be aggressive and hey. So be it, man. That, yeah. That's the way that it fucking goes. We're not here to tell you how to conduct your business, how to make your money, how to feed your family, how to pay your bills. No. We're, we're just spitting our opinion on you did this. Someone did this in the code of in the code of how shit goes down. This is what should have fucking happened and, and still fucking can happen, man. So, all right, homeboys, we're not going to spit on this thing forever. We've got uh, other things. We've got other goals, just like everything else that we do, man. But it's important for us to talk about it, to be real about it, to spit about it, to put it out there for you guys and just, you know, be real with it, man. Yeah. Or as a reminder, we ain't the podcast that shies away from hot topics, man. Nope. It may detour people from us. It may give people a taste in their mouth. It may bring people to us. Who fucking knows? But we're real. And we'll, we, we won't stray away from that shit, man. We'll keep it real. We'll keep it transparent. And uh, that's the way we keep it around here, man. So same time next week, same same bat channel, same shit, man. Seven o'clock, Thursday, Thursday, we'll be here. See if we can get a guest in here. Next week, we're definitely going to be keeping a lot lighter. You know, we're going to have a, a good fucking time. Back to the laughs and the shits and the yeah. giggles and the, and, the, and the keeping it real, man. Yeah, Anybody you know, on the chopping block? Maybe we'll bring, uh, who's going to AZ? Maybe we'll get Mikey back over here. Maybe Glizzy. Um couple Arizona people. A couple Arizona but people. I like that. Or something like that. I like Talk that. About a little something that we're going to do out there and shit. I can fuck with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a good time out there, man. If you guys are going to be out there in Arizona, please hit us up. We're going to and stop by um Scottsdale of of or Harley of Scottsdale. Please stop by there uh as well. We will be out there for five days. Come say what's up. Drop by the podcast and all that shit. Uh, just a reminder, if you guys need anything from a legal standpoint, man, see you there, hit up Law Tigers. Yeah, Here's them Robinson, we will fucking see you guys over there. Uh, we will try and make our way out to the uh, to other shows that are happening that are that are out there, man. But we're gonna be we're gonna be working. It's gonna be after six. It'll be after six. They yeah, cracking after six. Let us know. Well, we'll be they, there. Will be there. Will be. So we'll be out there for those fellows, but. Uh, tune in same time go make sure you ch- uh, check out the instagram follow the youtube and subscribe we're doing better about vlogging did you see our our latest vlog that yeah. i put out there yeah. i i just did it quickly tried to edit it real quick just get it out there man i'm just trying to like i got to get better at, at doing them and yeah, shit, i think man. we got our trailer one coming out yeah coming we out. got um th- something with the trailer we did something we've we've done a couple of them man yeah. so it's just a matter of getting to them and editing them so check out the youtube channel we're trying to do some more shit over there we've people have told us you guys need to start bringing a camera with you when you guys go to places because I'm sure it's so we're trying to take that advice and we're trying to do the damn thing. All right. All right, Joe. Appreciate it, man. Another good night, man. Thank you for coming and hanging out, man. Yeah. We will see you guys next Thursday right here. YouTube. We'll see you then. Go check out the other podcasts. Peace. Later.